Hey guys, in this video, we're going to test the best all mountain skis you can buy right now. I've made this checklist based on my personal opinions and study time, and I've made a list based on the security and pricing features. I've also included options for each type of consumer so you can easily verify these all mountain skis for yourself and for your family. We always try to provide customers with informative ideas so that they can easily verify any product. If you'd like more information and would like to set an updated price on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Our first choice, the Vocal M5 Mantra, is the ultimate men's all-mountain ski and takes our Editor's Choice Award. Whether you're railing GS style in the East, seeking out your favorite day-old powder stashes in the Rockies, or slaying big mountain lines after two feet of fresh in the Sierras, this ski will work for you. Volkel completely redesigned the M5 this year, reducing the amount of metal just slightly, re-adding camber underfoot and increasing the side cut. These changes retain all the M5's crud-busting, groomer-ripping, power-slaying abilities from years past while adding more energy and pop. The new M5 handles all conditions with ease and has a huge performance sweet spot that's easy for a wide range of skier abilities to find. After combining the scores from our testing categories, the Vocal Mantra M5 was the clear victor and had our testers scrambling to buy their own pair. At number 2, the Black Crow's Demon is a workhorse, and although several other skis gave them a run for their money, our testers consistently picked the Black Crow's as one of their favorites out of our huge lineup. The fully, albeit slightly rocket, profile and the 99mm waist are strikingly similar to the previous versions of the Vocal Mantra. The main difference, according to our testers, was that the Demon was much more forgiving and therefore appealed to a wider range of skiers. Now don't be mistaken and assume that because we're calling these skis forgiving, it means that they're soft, floppy or other derogatory terms. These excellent skis charge. It's just that they're friendly enough for an intermediate skier and early enough for an expert. The Demons earn a well-deserved second place this year. At number three, the Blizzard Rustler 10 is part of a fantastic line of skis from Blizzard that's meant to replace the Peacemaker and Gunsmoke and now includes several different waist widths. There were big shoes to fill, but Blizzard managed to do it. The Rustler 10 was only a handful of points shy of the winning Editor's Choice Award, but did earn one of our top picks for a soft snow oriented ski. It is a ski that performs best in softer snow, but also holds its own when conditions firm up. It has the pop to make it quite playful and easy to transition. A few of our testers preferred the Rustler 10 above all. Because of that, and many other reasons you'll read about, we gave it a top pick award. At number 4, the Castle FX96HP is redesigned from previous models in an effort to make a similarly stable ski that is lighter weight. We tested this ski in 180cm length with dimensions of 133, 96 and 113 and a turn radius of 18 meters. Hardcore Castle fans may be disappointed that the ski lacks the classic metal layer, but the FX96HP is still a burly ski that charges. It's really only suited for expert skiers and comes with a large price tag, but if money's no issue and you want a quality-built ski that delivers high-end performance, this may be the pair for you. Finally, at number 5, when Nordica introduced their Enforcer 100, skiers from coast to coast went wild. It handled all types of ski conditions and terrain well, and won many awards for its versatility. The Enforcer 100 was so popular that Nordica decided to build on their success by creating a ski with a similar profile, only a bit smaller. Typically, when a ski gains popularity and the manufacturer decides to capitalize on its success by offering different waist widths, the new versions fall flat on their face, but not so with the Nordica Enforcer 93. The 93mm Enforcer is everything its bigger brother is and is maybe even slightly more versatile. This version in the 185cm length measures in at 126mm in the tip 93mm underfoot and 114mm in the tail. 
It has a slight tip and tail rocker with camber in between and an 18.5 meter turn radius. Our testers were stoked to have the Enforcer back for another round of testing, where it earned a top pick award for the best on piste carving ski. So that sums up our top camping utensils. We hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a nice day.